Today, I'm heading south to tell you 10 things you need to know about Strongsville, Ohio. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty Renaud with EXP Realty, and I make videos about all things Cleveland and Northeast Ohio. If you don't wanna miss out on any of my videos, do me a favor, hit that like button and that subscribe button. I'm getting so close to 500 subscribers and I'd really like to hit that mile mark soon. So I would so appreciate it if you would do that for me. Okay, today we're gonna talk about Strongsville, Ohio. And I have 10 things to tell you about it. Um, it's a great suburb. It is south of Cleveland, about 15 miles south of Cleveland. And I didn't know this, but the first thing you need to know, it's the largest suburb of Cleveland. I didn't know that. It's 25 square miles. So it's a very large community. Um, another thing is its location. It, and I didn't know this either, it is called the Crossroads of the Nation, um, where it's located because it's south. So it's right at the intersection of I-71, which goes north and south through Ohio, all the way down to Florida, um, and I-80 which is the turnpike, which goes east and west. So two huge highways right there. Um, and it's also really close to the airport. So it's a great, great location, easy to get to. Um, what else do you need to know? Oh, the schools. Everyone wants to know about Strongsville schools. They're very, very good schools. Being the largest suburb of Cleveland, it's got 45,000 people, and there's 5,600 students that around there that attend the Strongsville schools. My cousin lives in Strongsville. She's got young children. Her children go to the schools. I'm pretty sure she's happy with Strongsville. Uh, they're rated a B um, the last year that they took the ratings. They didn't do it last year because of the pandemic, um, which is strong. They got A's in a lot of the categories. So uh, B is good schools, excellent schools. Um, so that's great. What else? It's got a great rec center. And that's kind of important because not all communities have rec centers. It's got a lot of parks. It's got 2,400 acres of city parks, but it's also part of the Cleveland Metro Park system. So lots of easy access to bike trails, running trails, woods. Uh, there's bridal paths if you're into riding horses. So that's available for you too. Um, it's got a horticultural park with 2,000 flowering trees. And part of the Metro Parks is the chalet. And I drove by it. And the chalet is a toboggan run. And it's a favorite destination in the winter. You crawl up. And I don't think you have to carry. When I went, I was a kid. And you had to carry up your toboggan. I don't think you have to do that anymore. You just climb up the steps. And it's a big toboggan chute. There's two of them. Uh, so that's always fun. And then for the summertime, they have this like treetop thing, which... I haven't been there in years, which, but that looks really cool too. You go in the treetops and I don't know if you go from tree to tree. Um, so lots of nature in Strongsville. Uh, what else? They have, because it's such a large community, they do a lot of things with the rec center. They have a lot of activities. They have a Memorial Day parade. They do fireworks for 4th of July. They have a fall fest. They have a big lighting ceremony for Christmas. They have a homecoming with big festival with rides and all of that. So lots of things to do in Strongsville in the nicer weather. Um, they also have a really cool, I've never been, I gotta go check it out when it opens up. They have a, this historical village with all these, you pay, it's only five bucks to get in. And you go, they have a general store, they have these old historic homes. Um, Amherst, where I live, has something similar, but this seems way bigger. It's probably got, looks like it's got six to eight buildings in it, these restored homes from the early 1900s, late 1800s. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else? I'm going to save the best for last, best two things for last. It's got a lot of businesses in, um, in Strongsville. There's four different business parks, wide range of businesses, you also have corporate headquarters that are in Strongsville, tech companies, and what's good about that is it brings money into the city, which keeps the property taxes down. Property tax is like 2%, which is pretty low. Uh, out here in Lorain County, we're like 1.8, 1.6. Uh, I think I'm at 1.86, so very, very 
low taxes for Cuyahoga County. So that's really, really good. Uh, also, one thing that Strongsville is famous for is South Park Mall. It opened in 1996 and it was such a big deal. Uh, I just had my first child and her first outing, she was like a week old, we took her to the brand new South Park Mall. And it's still, you know, and shopping malls are dying across the country, but South Park is still a great destination. And I know my kids, and we lived two seconds from Great Northern Mall, but going to South Park Mall was always a treat because it had everything. Uh, way more shops than Great Northern. Great food court, it was two stories tall. I'm sorry, my dog is barking. <laughs> But along with that mall, because of that shopping mall, you have so much other shopping. You just go up and down. I think it's Royalton Road. I'm not really sure. Um, you got a Costco there. You got your Target. You got your Old Navy, your Kohl's. I mean, everything up and down, everything you need is right there um, in that main strip, which also means it brings dining options. Lots of good, fancy restaurants. You got Dots Pomeroy House, Shinto, Triv's. Uh, in my old neighborhood, we had a we had a dinner club, and there's talk we're going to bring it back. And uh, once a month, we would pick a different restaurant, and we'd go check it out. And the one time we did go to Trips, it was very very good. So uh, lots of recreation, nightlife, you know, entertainment um, options in Strongsville. It's it's almost overwhelming. <laughs> uh, what else? What have I missed? Uh, oh, the one thing you want to know about, which is probably why you're watching, housing. Lots of different types of neighborhoods. Because it is an older suburb, you have older neighborhoods, which is fine. Um, I lived in an older neighborhood in North Olmstead. It was a split level. We fixed it up, we modernized it. It's fine. Still very, very nice, family-oriented neighborhood. Um, most of the neighborhoods in Strongsville are developments. And that seems to be the case in these newer, you know, not so new, but the further out you get from the downtown Cleveland, you have less neighborhoods and more developments. It's just the thing. Uh, so you have some older developments that very stately homes. Uh, good friends of ours, they have a, you know an older home, but it's huge. It's, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. In fact, the very first house I drove by that's for sale, I'm driving by and I'm like, because I went a different way, I'm like, this house looks so familiar. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's their house. So Joe and Linda, if you're watching, I drove by your house yesterday. Sorry, I didn't stop by. Uh, the average home price in Strongsville is $260,000. Um, but it looks like to get some of those bigger homes that are more modernized, you're looking in the high threes to low fours. So, and the ones I drove by, um, and I'll mark them so you can see the ones for sale. They're... Um, they're in that price range. But you know, there's definitely other options. You know, if you want a smaller home or maybe you want a fixer upper, that's kind of nice with those older homes. I mean, even the stately ones, you know, they've been around since the 1990s and they just haven't been updated. So that's a good opportunity to get into a nice big house if you, you know, are interested in fixing it up. Um, I'm looking at, and I printed out the MLS yesterday. We got four coming soons. That's the big thing now, because this market is crazy. Gosh, so they're coming soon. The lowest one on Huntington Park is two fifty, and El Dorado Trail is three seventy nine nine. And right now, the most expensive house for sale. Now it's been on the market for forty eight days, which is crazy in this market. Um, so I'm wondering what's going on there. It's five bedrooms, four baths, thirty four hundred square feet, four ninety. So, um, but you know, there's not a ton. There's no, you know, there's just a handful you can see there's only a handful of houses for sale uh, so but that's the market so without further ado I uh, hope I didn't miss anything but let's get in the car and take a drive around Strongsville it was finally a sunny sunny day of course it's been nice the last few days I just got back from Florida and it was nicer here in Cleveland than it was where I was in Florida so what are you gonna do it's another beautiful day today so let's enjoy the sunny weather and go check out Strongsville. Thanks.